Boy, does time fly when you're focused and paying attention and having fun. Uh, um, <clears throat> we thought we'd have a pause day today. If we didn't break it early, that the uh, markets would um, go find out where resistance is. And uh, we've had a pretty quiet but slowly high day all the way up. And here's a mom, a move out of the middle. That's rule number three of our 321 methodology, way of looking at the market. Low volume numbers are rule number one. High volume numbers are rule number two. So we started off uh, this morning thinking we had resistance at 75 to 80, didn't know which it, what it would be. And the trading has been very, very slow. One short developed, and you got your three points off of our setups, and that was that. Uh, the rest of them, the length, mean green trade right here, mean green trade, and the trades took forever to develop. Going to have a low volume day, uh, and that's just the way it is. There's not a lot of news. There's not a lot of interest in the markets today, so <clears throat> people are watching to see what goes on in Europe, and the talk out of Europe is that they're having a hard time uh, spending their $60 billion this month. And the reason for that are the restrictions that they've placed on themselves. So there is a lot of paper that the uh, European Central Bank can't buy yet. And I'd underline the word yet. Paper they should be buying, pig's paper, they shouldn't be buying German paper. But because Germany's paying the bills, uh, Germany wants to make sure that they are fairly represented. And I don't know what that does to solve the $1.2 trillion worth of bad debt. Uh, probably not a hell of a lot when you get right down to it. So we have an inside day right here on the F1 screen on the E-mini. Got a pretty clean break in the market here in this 80 area, uh, 80 to 85 off of this one. Inside day means trading range. On the buy side, we still like our 65 to 67, which is where we had it this morning. We thought that that was a pretty good buy area. It came in the overnight session. It did not come in the day session. So. Um, we were hoping to be able to buy there, but uh, to get long, you had to pay up all day long. So trading range is what the F1 screen on the E-mini shows us. On the F2 screen, um, <clears throat> ever since X period, but nothing but P's. So uh, this one says a little bit higher in the overnight session. So I think right here, that low... The spill from 85 and that last rotate up, it stopped at 88. So 85 to 88 is probably our best resistance right now. So we're going to sell failure. Uh, if the market were to close right here, we're going to sell failure to take out um, 83, 85. And then we're going to sell 88 to 90 for sell two. On the buy side, 75 plus or minus, buy one. And then our 70, 72 for buy two. The worse the economic news, the more likely this market is to trade higher. I mean, you just, nothing um, that we traditionally rely on to help us trade works. We just join them. We don't worry too much about it. And it's not comfortable for people that like to trade fundamentally, but it's just, the, I mean, it's the way it is. It's the way the market. We've done pretty well doing that. Don't have to know who, don't have to know why. You can just see that they are. Go with the capital flow. Same situation in the uh, note and the bond. We had a uh, market. Uh, that spilled on Friday because the Fed can raise the interest rates sooner rather than later. We have a new low right here. So this one actually says we can be a seller. Looking at the F2 screen. Definitely a P, definitely pointed higher. So we're going to sell failure to take out 16 to 20. It's the overnight session. Tomorrow's the three-year. I really like the uh, long side pretty good. 
better. So we're going to try to buy fives to nine for the three year. I'm going to put a question mark in this 12 area, this high volume area right here. The e money sells this afternoon. We're going to have to pay up and it'll take 13s to get into. But I, I think the e money is probably going to hang in. And then 29 to 1. I, I don't see us getting down to 29 to 1 for the uh, three year auction. Biggest piece of news uh, tomorrow will be the three-year auction. Not much news this week. Um, usually takes two or three days before major news comes in uh, after the unemployment news is hit. Nom spread actually widened today. So we've got these markers, 5710, 5706, 57 even. So sell failure to take out 27. 28.57, and we're going to sell 5 to 9 for S2. On the buy side, I like this 13 to 17 area. would like to get it done closer to 13, but we're trading 27 now. It's a ways away. We'll put a question mark by 21. If the E-mini sells, 21 is about as good as we could hope to do. And then buy 2 will be 5 to 9. Okay, gold, the biggest seller out there in market manipulation so they can buy the physical cheaper are central banks. And uh, we've got a low volume number right down here. So leaning against that low volume number, having a resting buy order at 57.50. <clears throat> Goes through 50.6, uh, you're wrong. That's where we are. So uh, we're pointed lower. We'll make 60, 62, 55, 57 for buy two. And on the sell side, uh, 69, 71, and the best sells against 75. Crude oil. I know you hate it when I say this, but who knows? I mean, this market's just all on. Over the wall. I, longer term, it's headed lower. Um, <clears throat> stop right here at this value area low. This high volume number at 49 stopped them. Obviously, it's a sell lower high and a lower low. So this 50 area uh, is where you'd think about getting short. So we're at 50 right here, right now, 50 to 50 and a quarter. Sell one. 50, 50, 50, 75, sell two. On the buy side, uh, 49, 50 sticks out. We broke out at 80, so we'll make 50 to 75 for buy one. And 49 plus or minus for buy two. Russia reminded uh, Europe that, oh, so you want to rebuild your military? Let us remind you that we have nukes, and your military and your soldiers won't be any good. What a lot of people don't realize is that the cheap way to uh, deter your enemies is through nuclear weapons. don't have to have thousands of people on the ground. Of course, you don't have a lot of um, flexibility either, and, but most people won't take you on. So Russia is they're a third world economy with a first world nuclear armory and they don't have to take a lot of crap off of many people and if you don't think they won't use it up to a point uh, think again they've shot down airliners they don't care they don't care who's killed or anything else they want to shoot down an airliner they do it they get away with it nobody's going to go to war in those situations 
And it's unfortunate if you happen to be riding one of those, one of those airlines, but it's the way it is. Okay, the euro. People will want to be seeing how much they actually purchased today, what the issues were that were bought, what type of uh, um, restrictions the European Central Bank has placed on themselves and with their charter. And the market is counting on 60 billion per month of euros. And if they don't get it, if it comes in less, that could rally the euro currency and it should bring their bond and equity markets down a little bit. So down to where the um, rubber meets the road right now. And so they'll want to be seeing what they actually bought today. Sell one, 70 to 80. Sell two, 90 to the buck. On the buy side, 40 to 50, it's where support is. I don't like the long side of the market, as you know. Then <clears throat> 108, even 108.10 for buy two. I don't mind buying against 108 because it is a round number. And that's it for March the 9th, 2015. You all have a great evening. I will see you bright and early in the a.m. And got to figure out how to get over and make my recordings a little more efficiently. But we'll try to take a one to three trades a day like we did today. See if we can't make it easier for you. You all have a great evening. See you bright and early in the morning.